Hi everybody, this is Kent from Man About Tools, and today we're putting together this Universal Mobile Base Kit. I'm in the middle of renovating my workshop, and I have almost all my workbenches and tools on wheels, um, except a bandsaw that I have. And so I'm going to take this utility table, and with this Universal Mobile Base Kit, and with some plywood, you attach the wheels to the corners, and then um, we'll be able to move things around. Hey Max, what do you think? Does that sound like a good idea? Shall I do this? Are you going to help? All right, Max is going to help a little bit today. Okay, let's get you out of the way, boy. All right, let's open up this kit and see what's inside. Got uh, two packages of hardware. The instructions. So I've put one of these together before uh, for my planer and it seems to work pretty well. The instructions aren't the best, but you can pretty much figure out as you go along here. So I have uh, two corners that have the wheels that raise or lower, and these wheels the, um, are on swivels. And then we have uh, two of, let's say, the back corners where the wheels are solid. And uh, to put this together, I've got uh, three wrenches, a 10 mil, a 13 mil, and a 14 mil, um, some needle nose pliers, and a large Phillips screwdriver. And uh, the base will have uh, holes drilled in it for these corners, the three quarter inch plywood base. And I'll use a uh, half inch bit on my drill press to drill those. So I have the base already cut three quarter inch standard plywood. So the first part of the process is to put together the wheel assemblies on the back of these. All right, so step one is to thread the rubber guide foot into this bracket. And then there's a stop nut that goes on that. These only need to be put on finger tight because you're going to adjust those as you go along. And then the other one goes in the other side here. All right. And then we're going to attach uh, this wheel to this swivel plate. And the other wheel to the other swivel plate. Yeah, I think it's 14 mil wrench to snug that up. And then snug this one up. And then you're going to install the swivel plate uh, using the carriage bolt and the lock washer. And then that is going to sit right in here. That is this. So just like that, that one sits in there. And I think that's a 13 mil, this one, yeah. Don't need to crank it, just snug that up like that. And then the same on the other assembly here. The next part is a little tricky, and here's where we need our needle nose pliers. This foot lever is going to ride in here. So it's got another one of these bolts, and then it has one of these washers. Since this rides up and down, you have to kind of lift this a little bit to get this to work here. That goes there, washer goes on, this slides in, 
Now the hard part is to get the other washer that fits in this little gap right here. Hold the washer with some needle nose pliers. Okay, there you go. That goes there. And then the other lock nut goes on this side. So that's how that one goes together. I'll set this aside. So the carriage bolt, nylon washer, I think they're nylon. There we go, run that through. And then the last These uh, back wheels, going to need a big Phillips screwdriver. This bolt's going to run through here. Smaller nylon washer. Wheel. and then the other washer. And there's a smaller little nut for these ones. So nylon washer on either side there. And this is the 10 mil. And you snug it up like that. That's that wheel. And we'll do the same on this one. Okay, that's all the parts together. Now we'll attach these to the base. So here you set the corner in place. Then you set this on. And I'm going to mark the uh, back here. So then these, I just mark a dot in the center and just kind of freehand that. So. Right now, so the best part is putting it all together. So, we want to get these started before we do any tightening, make sure that we've got them, don't have them cross threaded. All right, to the other side.
All right, and that's it. retract these rubber casters and then on this side same thing Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.